This module introduces the concept of the basic UDI DI, what it is assigned to and how it is created. This is an identifier introduced by the EU Commission as part of the UDI, requ UDI requirements of the EU medical device regulations and is the main key in the database and relevant documentation to connect devices with the same intended purpose, risk class, and essential design and manufacturing characteristics. That database is Udamed and is made up of six modules, all of which are connected via the basic UDI-DI. The basic UDI-DI will appear in the database and on documents such as the Declaration of Conformity for the product certification. Once the Udamed is in place, anyone entering the basic UDI-DI will be able to access all the documents and reports and all of the devices within the family of products. You'll need to group your medical devices that have the same intended purpose risk class and essential design and manufacturing characteristics, and then assign the basic UDI-DI to this group. It is separate from any packaging or labeling of the device itself and does not appear anywhere on the products or the labels or packaging. To summarize, it serves a regulatory purpose, not for traceability. It connects devices with the same intended purpose, risk class and essential design and manufacturing characteristics. It is the main record key in Udamed that connects all the UDI DIs, your GTINs, for the devices and the information in other modules. It is referenced in regular documents and is independent from labeling. And as a rule of thumb, it's not hard and fast, but it's a rule of thumb, is in general, it's one basic UDI DI per declaration of conformity, because that declaration of conformity groups your products together by the same intended purpose, risk class, and essential design and manufacturing characteristics. Here's a graphical representation of how the basic UDI DI links to the different GTINs of the products and packaging levels within the group. Anyone searching using the GTIN will access all the other GTINs and documents about the products in the group as they are connected by the same basic UDI DI. Here we have multiple UDI DIs for the different size syringes and different packaging configurations, all linked by the same basic UDI DI. In the same way as the requirement for the UDI DI is met by the GTIN using the GS1 standards, the requirement for the basic UDI DI is met by the global model number using the GS1 standards. The GMN is variable length up to 25 characters long and is made up of the GS1 company prefix, a model reference, and a check character pair. The model reference element is alphanumeric and the check character pair is case sensitive. We start with the GS1 company prefix. This can vary in length and is normally between seven and nine digits long. We then enter an internal number or model reference. And the suggestion is that you include alpha characters to ensure that your GMN does not look like your GTINs or GLNs. And then we click calculate. This is the 
basic UDI DI. You can then copy this key and place it into your internal systems. Please note that you do not need to register your basic UDI DIs with GS1. You cannot record or manage your basic UDI DIs within the My GS1 area of your GS1 UK account. And this does not appear on your product labels or packaging. <laughs> 